Hello everyone, thank you for watching the Pharmadharma. My name is Justin. Today we're going to look at an introduction to the Finnish cases. This image is a mnemonic that we're going to use to learn the Finnish cases and the case endings. Some notes about this presentation. I'm obviously not a native speaker of Finnish. This also doesn't include every function of the Finnish cases. There is overlap in case function in Finnish, and this is really a simplified view meant to help you memorize the cases and the case endings. Only singular case endings are included. There are no plural case endings in this presentation. Let's look at the four grammatical cases to start with. The four grammatical cases of Finnish are nominative, accusative, genitive, and partitive. The nominative case takes the function of the subject of the sentence. So for example, sinä, meaning you. The accusative case in Finnish is relatively rare. However, iso suomen kielioppi, or the large grammar of Finnish, now states that the only words that have true accusative cases are the personal pronouns and the interrogative pronouns kuka, meaning who, and gen, meaning an older word for who. Older sources will still state that a noun may take the accusative case if it is a total object, meaning that it is the object of a completed action. Otherwise, the partitive case must be used for the object of the sentence. Regardless, this case is comparatively rare in Finnish, and the partitive and genitive cases typically take up the role that the accusative is thought to take up in most languages. Whenever a noun is in the accusative case, it will take the ending in. However, because the example word is a pronoun, it doesn't have this ending, as you'll notice. The word hanet means him as opposed to he. The genitive case is used to show possession and it's used with postpositions in Finnish as well. Additionally, it can be used to show necessity and it can also mark an object of a sentence whenever the verb or action is happening to the whole object as opposed to a part of the object. The case ending is in and the example word is a variant of the name rosa. So rosan means roses as opposed to rosa meaning Rosa's thing. Rosa owns this thing. The partitive case has a case ending of a or a or ta or ta. The example we have here is mehua, meaning some juice. Mehu means juice and mehua means some juice. It is used after numbers or other words that show a quantity and it's used to indicate an amount of a greater whole. For example, the juice in question is not all of the juice that I have, it's just the juice I have in the cup. Because these cases and their case endings are relatively simple, I didn't include them in the mnemonic. Let's look at the three internal locative cases. The first case in our mnemonic is the inessive case. It refers to something being inside of something else. It can also refer to something happening within a period of time. It can also indicate that something is immediately next to something else. The example I have is, imagine me inside of my house here. Let's say I've been in here for so long that I'm going insane inside of my house. If we spell insane with two S's instead of one, we have the case ending for the inessive case, which is SSA or SSA. The chosen example we have here is talossa, meaning in the house. The next case is the elative case. The elative case's basic meaning is coming outside of something. So in the case of a house, it would be walking out the door. It is also used for other functions, such as referring to a period of time, being immediately next to something, or referring to an origin or cause of something else. Our mnemonic here is stay out. S-T-A or S-T-A is the case ending for the elative case. The next case is the illative case. Its main function is going inside of something. It is the logical opposite of the elative case. So in the case of the house, it is walking into the door to go into the house. It can also refer to close contact with something. It can refer to until a time specifically, like we are going to do something until the end of the week. Or it can refer to the cause of something else. Our mnemonic here is when we are ill, we should go inside because ill is the beginning of illative. The other mnemonic is go in Gavin because the case ending of the illative is vowel in. We repeat the vowel at the end of the stem and then add in. Our example for the illative is taskusta, meaning out of the pocket, from the inside. Our example for the illative is latikon, meaning into the box. Let's look at the three external locative cases. The next case in our mnemonic is the adhesive case. It means on top of, around, or at something. For example, at my house. It also takes the function of to have, because Finnish doesn't have a verb for to have, it uses the adhesive case. 
It may also indicate time, the means or way of doing something. It can be a general instrumental case. And then in colloquial Finnish, it can be used as the word with. The mnemonic for the adhesive case is adding all of the soccer balls at my house. I have five. So add is for the adhesive case. All is actually the case ending spelled backwards. The case ending is LLA or LLA. At my house, relating to the meaning, and I have five because adhesive can also be used as to have. The example for the adhesive case is Kolula, meaning at school. The next two cases in the mnemonic are the ablative and the allative. They are a lot like the allative and illative because they are also logical opposites of one another. The basic meaning of the ablative case is from or off of something. From in this case can mean from my house to the city of Alta. It can also mean you got this information from me. Off of can mean something like off of the table. The ablative case can also be used to indicate time or the qualities of something. The mnemonic for the ablative case is we're leaving to go to Alta. LTA or LTA is the case ending for ablative and leaving because it refers to leaving or going away from something. The next case in the mnemonic is the allative case. The basic meaning of this case is toward or on to something. It can also indicate to someone or for someone. It does serve a dative function in modern Finnish as opposed to the dative case in other languages. The dative case in other languages would be receiving an action. However, this seems to be done in Finnish using the allative case, meaning toward something. The mnemonic for the allative case is llegar, if you're able to speak Spanish, because LLE is the case ending, and llegar means to come. If you don't find this useful, you can use the mnemonic they are all going to my excellent house. This helps because all stands for allative, and excellent has ELL in it, which is the case ending backwards. The example for the ablative case is talolta, meaning away from the house. The example for the allative case is talolle, meaning to the house or in the direction of the house. Next, let's look at the five marginal cases. The next case in the mnemonic is the SF case. Its basic meaning is being, as in, as an American. It may also be used to indicate time, but not clock time. For example, it can be used as on Monday or in December. The mnemonic for this case is, as an American, would you like to learn these cases? Not. Because in a is the case ending for the S of case, and a common phrase that you'll see this case in is as an XYZ, for example, as an American. The next case the mnemonic is the translative case. It is used to indicate a change of state. It may also mean for a or for. A good example of this is Suomi is Finnish for Finnish. This picture here shows a penguin skiing on its backside. We can say that there's a change of state because the ice is becoming water and the penguin is going from the top of the mountain to the bottom. We're going to say that the penguin is translating to the bottom of the mountain. The case ending for translative is KSI. We can see KSI inside of the word backside. Also, this is a very unique case ending, so I don't think it's too hard to think about the word ski and respell it to KSI instead of SKI. The next case in our mnemonic is the instructive case. Its basic meaning is by means of. One common phrase you'll see it in is with my own eyes. So, with my own eyes, I saw an instructive course in my cottage. The case ending is in. This case is also relatively rare. However, it does appear in some common phrases, such as one we discussed. The next case is the abessive case. It's also a relatively rare case. It's most commonly seen in fossilized phrases or phrases where the abessive case has been traditionally used even though we don't usually use the abessive case anymore. However, outside of this, it can be commonly seen if the third infinitive of a verb is used. The mnemonic here is my cottage that I can't live without, because without is the meaning of abessive and PTA is the case ending for abessive. The last case is the comitative case. The word comitative comes from the same Latin root as the word accompany. Its basic meaning is in the company of or together with. It is also a very rare case. In fact, it's no longer used in modern spoken Finnish outside of fossilized phrases or phrases where it has been traditionally used and it's kind of just stuck. 
So if you have a keen eye, you may notice I have a house and a cottage, so I may not really need my cottage. However, I stated before I can't really live without my cottage. But another issue is, I will never be wealthy if I never sell my cottage with my instructor. And this is our mnemonic, because I'm going to sell my cottage with my instructor, with is the meaning of commutative, and in E is the case ending for commutative. Let's review the five marginal cases. The first case, as if, has the basic meaning of being. The example here is suomalaisena, meaning as a thin. The next case is translative. It has the basic meaning of a change of state. An example here is ya mutuvedeksi, meaning the ice turns into water. The next case is instructive. It has the basic meaning of by means of. The example here in Finnish is omin silmin, which means with my own eyes. The next case is the abessive case. It has the basic meaning of without. The example here is rahatta, meaning without money. The next case is the commutative case. It has the basic meaning of in the company of or together with. The example here is paseinen, meaning with passports. Let's review. I've attached my charts of the cases so you can review them freely. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.